CD Projekt Red has announced a partnership with media company Anonymous Content to develop a live-action story based in the Cyberpunk 2077 universe. While the project is in its initial development stage and a screenwriter is yet to be decided, the production will involve several members from Anonymous Content and will be developed closely with the creative team of Cyberpunk 2077. Anonymous content has a reputable history with notable projects like Mr. Robot and True Detective under its belt. Further details about the live-action project are expected to be shared as development progresses. This collaboration follows the recent achievements of Cyberpunk 2077, including the release of the Phantom Liberty expansion and celebrating 25 million copies sold. In June, Sony Interactive Entertainment experienced a cyber attack orchestrated by the Klopp Ransomware Group that exposed the personal information of 6,791 past and present employees. The breach occurred due to a vulnerability in the Moviet file transfer platform, which has since been resolved. Although Sony has expressed that there is no known misuse or publication of the affected data, they are reaching out to impacted individuals, offering credit monitoring and identity restoration services. Sony took immediate actions by disabling the platform, initiating an external investigation, and notifying law enforcement. This event follows another recent data breach at Sony, adding to the company's cybersecurity challenges. Blizzard has announced that Diablo 4 will be available on Steam starting 17th October after being exclusive to the Battle.net PC platform. Although the game will be accessible on Steam, players will need to link to a Battle.net account to utilize features like cross-platform play. Steam players will also be able to leverage platform-specific features such as Steam achievements. Alongside this announcement, Blizzard introduced the game's second season, Season of Blood, which will simultaneously launch across all platforms. This new season will introduce a fresh questline, vampiric powers, an additional five endgame bosses, and more for players to explore. Feral Interactive has revealed that a revamped version of IO's 2006 release, Hitman Blood Money, titled Hitman Blood Money Reprisal, is set to launch on iOS, Android, and Nintendo Switch. The re-release promises numerous improvements, including new features like Instinct Mode, a constant mini-map, and various gameplay enhancements inspired by subsequent entries in the Hitman series. Players can anticipate a range of mission approaches and target engagements consistent with the series' trademark style. The release is slated for autumn for iOS and Android, while the Switch version is expected to follow in the winter, although specific release dates have not been provided. Telltale Games has confirmed layoffs within its team, attributing the decision to current market conditions without disclosing the exact number of affected employees. A former employee shared on social media that the layoffs occurred in early September. Despite these redactions, the studio assures that all projects currently in development, including The Wolf Among Us 2, will continue production as planned. The layoffs come after the company's recent acquisition of UK mobile studio Flavorworks in August. The company expressed gratitude to its team and is working to support those impacted by the layoffs, maintaining its commitment to storytelling through ongoing and future projects. Microsoft is reportedly set to finalize its substantial $68.7 billion acquisition of gaming giant Activision Blizzard as early as October 13, provided it clears the remaining regulatory barriers. While the company has maneuvered through a 20-month process of global regulatory checks, the UK's Competition and Markets Authority, which previously obstructed the deal, remains a pivotal factor in the acquisition's completion. Microsoft has adapted the deal to address cloud gaming concerns by transferring related rights of current and future Activision Blizzard titles to Ubisoft. Although Microsoft and Activision agreed to extend their deadline to October 18, if the UK regulator provides approval, the deal might conclude ahead of this schedule. Nonetheless, ongoing appeals and an administrative case from the Federal Trade Commission in the US still linger, potentially challenging the acquisition even if it successfully closes. Despite high hopes for the team-focused FPS Redfall, developed by Arcane and published by Bethesda, the game has experienced a significant drop in its player counts on Steam just five months after launch, occasionally dipping to single-digit concurrent players. On release in May, it faced critical reviews from both players and critics alike, pointing out issues such as poor AI, bland missions, and numerous technical problems. 
Even with its availability on PC Game Pass and a peak of 6,124 concurrent Steam players post-launch, recent data indicates a substantial decrease in active players, with peaks of only 35 and sometimes as low as 2. The release of Call of Duty Warzone Mobile has been postponed to spring 2024, diverging from its initial projected release in the fall of 2023. Post Studio head Chris Plummer confirmed the delay during the recent Call of Duty Next event, attributing the decision to the team's desire to refine the mobile version further before its global launch. The mobile iteration of Warzone aspires to deliver a top-tier battle royale experience with features like popular maps for Dansk and Rebirth Island a shared battle pass progression, and matches supporting up to 120 players. Currently, Activision has unveiled Urzikstan, a new urban battleground war zone map, set to debut with the first season of Modern Warfare 3 in December. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching. Until next time.